Good morning. Uh, thank you for your patience. Um, we had some fire alarms going off at the city county building, but there's no emergency and everything's fine. So again, thank you for your patience. We're holding a second community briefing this week because our local situation continues to significantly improve and we have some additional information we want to share with you. Providing interpretation for us today, again, is Margie Prop. Thank you, Margie, and thanks to everyone for joining us. As I mentioned during our briefing Tuesday, we've been evaluating our local situation daily and watching hospital data very closely. So let's take a look at what we're seeing now. We've had four weeks of decline in cases representing a drop of more than 80%, as I mentioned on Tuesday. As hope, the downward trend in cases has continued this week. The seven-day average of new daily cases has now dropped to less than 100 cases a day. On Tuesday, we reported that hospitalizations had decreased 47% since February 1st, and starting on February 11th, our hospitals had received less than 100 COVID-19 patients each day. And as you can see on this chart, that trend has continued. The number of people hospitalized today is 62, with 45 of them from Lancaster County. The strain on our hospitals caused by the Omicron surge has decreased significantly. Based on our community's current progress, we're now in a position where we can remove the local directed health measure early. The directed health measure will end at 11.59 p.m. tonight. The risk dial, however, remains in orange, and we continue to recommend that people wear a mask indoors. You can expect that when you go into a doctor's office or hospital, you'll be required to wear a mask. And if you use public transportation, you are required to wear a mask. We also strongly recommend that every person get vaccinated or boosted when eligible. COVID-19 vaccine is a powerful tool in preventing severe illness and saving lives. Our collective actions are helping our community come through this surge. Together, we've helped our hospitals preserve capacity, our schools keep classrooms open, and limited disruption to local businesses. And I really want to say thank you. Thank you all so much. COVID-19 is moving to the level that really is more manageable, but the pandemic is not over. As we all know, COVID-19 can be unpredictable and its future course is uncertain. So it's important that we remain flexible. If our local situation changes, we will reevaluate the current recommendations and make adjustments as necessary. I want to remind everyone that the public health guidance is posted at covid19.lincoln.ne.gov. And with that, I'd be happy to take any questions. Thanks again for joining us today and remember to get vaccinated and get your booster and wear your mask.